it's very obvious that people really hold on to their opinion and their take so much so that they don't want to be wrong. Because I'm watching the 49ers and I'm looking at it going, I mean, they sure seem pretty good. And Brock Purdy sure seems pretty good. And I'm thinking, this was the same team who people were panicking over and doing victory laps because Brock Purdy had struggled and they were struggling. And that was happening just a couple of weeks ago. And yet here we are, and they're playing on a short week, on the road, in a tough place, in a divisional game, and they absolutely sawed off the Seattle Seahawks for four quarters and three hours of football last night. And it just goes to show you that people just don't want to be wrong. Because there were so many people out there when Brock Purdy was struggling just for those three games. And keep in mind, he might have had a concussion or multiple concussions, depending on you know which Twitter doctor you believe in. But you're watching Brock Purdy struggle, and people were so ready to say, see, told you, he's not the guy. The 49ers aren't going anywhere with Brock Purdy. He's been exposed. He's lost three games, and he struggled, and he threw interceptions. It's like... Okay, so he struggled a little bit, and we're just going to get ready to forget all the other games before that, all the other success he had. I'm going to forget all about that stuff. We're just going to focus on these three games, and that's going to be our takeaway when it comes to Brock Purdy. Okay. And then they come off the bye, and they've been fantastic, and they've been dominant, and Brock Purdy looks pretty good. And you're going to get the box score, like Billy box score readers out there are going to go, what do you mean? He's got one touchdown and one interception. He only threw for 209 yards. It's like, oh, dude, watch the game. Like, if you actually watch the game and have an honest feeling and opinion about it, you watch the game and you go, nah, man, the guy's good. And he plays really well. Yeah, but once uh, all those other players are gone, like Christian McCaffrey, when he was injured, not the same player, Debo Samuel, Trent Williams. So what do you want him to do? Go up to John Lynch's office, knock on the door, and say, hey, would you trade all our good players? I got something to prove. Like, who does that? It's like, you know what? I'm the fastest person in the world, but I got to prove people that I can do it without one of my legs. You know, can we go ahead and get this surgery done immediately? I just want to prove my point here. Like, what do you want them to do? Trade away all their good players? <laughs> like, everybody tells you, work smarter, not harder. Okay, well, you know what's smart? Having really good players around you. George Kittle, that offensive line, the running game, the coaching staff, all that stuff. Brock Purdy's fantastic in it. Yeah, but he's just a product of the sit. Si- okay, dude, what do you want him to do? Go to another system? Trade me away immediately. Where would you like to go? Carolina. Send me to Carolina. Uh, okay. I mean, we already you know, got Christian, but I mean, I guess we could just swap. Okay, fine. I got to go to Carolina where I got an owner who turns and burns on head coaches at a rapid pace, who's got a coach in Frank Reich who just got there and has already given up play calling duties once and then took him back and still it was the same result and they've got nothing to surround the number one overall pick. But I got to prove to everybody else that I can play because I don't want people to tell me that I'm only a product of the system. And so I'm watching Brock Purdy last night. I'm going, dude, it's just, it's okay to be wrong. There's nothing wrong with being wrong about your evaluation of Brock Purdy. Christ, the 49ers are wrong. They were wrong how many rounds? Almost all of them. That's why he was sitting there as the last pick of the draft. It's all right to be wrong. You don't got to hold on to it like a hostage. You're not robbing a bank. And you watch Brock Purdy, you watch the 49ers, I'm like, where was all the outrage for this guy? They're great. He played really well. He's a really good quarterback in that system, whatever. Like, I I don't know if you want to hold that argument. You can hold on to it as long as you want. But the Niners are good. Brock Purdy's good, they're fine, and if you don't see it by now, you might be an idiot.